Uh, multiplication facts and division facts. These are the most important things to know in your math as you are developing as a student in your early elementary school days usually. And we're talking about combining numbers together through multiplication and that's the symbols that we use. All right, you gotta know your multiplication facts quickly without your fingers, without a calculator, and it's a real key to your success as a math student. One way to remember and know your multiplication facts is to do what's called skip counting. All right, You can do skip counting with sounds or tapping your fingers on the desk or even just using your fingers. But of course we want to work away from that eventually and be able to memorize these multiplication facts. But here's the basic step. Let's do the skip counting with twos. All right, So I'm going to start with two and then I count every other number. I'm going to count every two numbers. So I go two four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And so, of course, I have a lower voice on the in-between numbers. So again, it's two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and so on. So I am counting by skipping. I'm skipping every other number. Okay. How about three? If we go three, now we want to count every third number. So we go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one is my final number. All right, let's do multiples of four with skip counting. So I do four, and then I do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One more. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Every fourth number. These are multiples of four. And let's do fives. Five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 finishes it. And multiples of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. All right, skip counting in multiples. All right, so if you can do that either with a rhythm with your own voice, like I said, or tapping, or even just um, memorizing, then you've got your multiples. Let's take a look at that on a grid. All right, now we have a one by six grid and we have rows of one, multiples of ones going across, multiples of two, multiples of three, and so on. We also have columns of ones and twos and threes, and fours, fives, and sixes. So we're gonna use skip counting to fill out this grid. All right, now the multiples of one are very easy because we actually don't skip. We're gonna just be counting by regular numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now, if we get the twos, we're going to always start with two, right? And then we're going to skip two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Finish with twelve. All right, let's do threes. Do it with me. Say it out loud. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Multiples of four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Multiples of five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30.
And finally, multiples of 6 by skip counting. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. All right. Also notice you could do the skip counting by going down each column. So for the twos, you'd skip count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. So you should be able to fill out these number grids that I show you in these videos by doing skip counting. And eventually you'll be able to do it by just knowing the multiples and knowing your multiplications tables. All right. Now the next video is going to be working with um, working with multiples lists. And we're going to start developing our multiplication facts from there, one through six. Thanks for watching and look for the next video in the same title.